days until I leave for Stagecoach. I am so excited and I love packing and prepping vlogs. It's one of my favorite things to film. So I'm gonna take you with me on a week full of packing, beauty appointments, all that jazz. I've already ran a bunch of my errands. Like I've been collecting stuff every time I go to Target or go to a store or like order from Amazon. So I don't necessarily need to go buy anything. Probably gonna eat those words because I can already think of like a couple things I need to go get. Today's Monday. I took an early morning yoga class so that I could just have the rest of the day to like do stuff. It's 8.45 now, so I'm gonna head back home and I'll show you my crazy plan for the next couple of days. Put on a tiny bit of makeup and then just did this like wavy crimped hair. This is my favorite way to extend like slightly dirty hair. I have a hair appointment tomorrow, so it wasn't worth like washing. Just did a little dry shampoo and then I think I used the mermaid waver is what it's called. I'm going to get to work because it's 9.30 now and I have another appointment at 10.40, which means I should probably leave here at like 10.20. That appointment is for a wax. I'm getting a Brazilian, which I usually do. That's like not out of the norm for me, but I'm also getting my armpits waxed, which is a little bit out of the ordinary for me, but it's because I want to have like a guaranteed clean shave for every day of Stagecoach and I'm just like, that's impossible with a razor, at least for me. So getting my armpits waxed for the first time in a while. I actually got a laser hair removal on my armpits back in like, want to say either middle school or like early high school just because I was so self-conscious of my underarms. It's not like a guaranteed thing with laser hair removal, especially when you do it like in like your formative years or like whenever your body's going through changes. So it came back and now I'm getting it waxed. I usually shave if you were curious about my hair removal. And the only other thing today is I have a meeting, but the meeting's in the afternoon. So I have to be here for it. And then I'm thinking maybe I'll run out to this one boutique in Raleigh carries this other local jewelry brand. And I really want to see what they have because they have like really cute, unique like chain necklace pieces. So depending on what's in stock at that boutique, I might pick up some of those pieces. But I've been compiling a list kind of as I randomly think of stuff of do not forget to pack this and then also if you have time buy this and I just thought of adding an eyelash curler to my don't forget to pack list does anyone else like this like the week prior to a trip I'm like mentally packing and maybe I'll start like a notes but then I usually pack the day before I'm trying really hard not to do it this time I actually have all my stuff you can kind of see all my luggage and everything piled up over here and I've been collecting just like random stuff honestly like wet ones and Clorox and then I got earplugs and what else is over here pulled all my luggage out i bought boots these are a ton of clothes i've ordered but the plan for today is also to kind of go through this and organize this a little bit all right just did a little bit of work and i made the mistake of going on tiktok and this girl posted the cutest like beaded bag from marshall's and now if i have time today i'm gonna try and go to that boutique and marshall's because i don't really have a lot of bags for a stagecoach i don't really even have outfits planned out i've just been buying pieces and hoping they all come together <laughs> into outfits. It is 10:19, so I'm about to leave for that wax appointment. This is where I go for my waxes, so wish me luck. That was not bad at all. I was done by 11:30, and I ran into Whole Foods next door to get a couple of things. Having a salad for lunch, and they've been out of romaine and arugula. They're still out of arugula. There must be some sort of like lettuce thing going on. But I got lettuce, some strawberries, a little drink, my favorite creamy root beer from Zevia and then a couple Clio bars. So I'm going to actually go to that boutique right now because I didn't think I was gonna have time, but it's a little too early to start on lunch. So let's run over there and I will eat my Clio and my root beer on the way. Made one of my favorite salads for lunch. It's one of the side dish recipes. I'm not sure the exact name, but it uses the honey Dijon dressing, which I think you can like sort them by the dressing on the site. So look for the one with like chicken, avocado, and bacon. It's so good. Lunch was delish, but I want to show you what I got at that boutique on the way back. I went in there to get jewelry and I got two pieces. I got this necklace. This is a local Raleigh brand and her jewelry sells out so fast, but this is like a continuous chain like that is the class. I feel like this will stack well with other things. And then I got another thing from that brand. This is a bracelet. That's so cool. I love that. And then I'm also going on another trip right after Stagecoach. I get back from Stagecoach on a Monday and I leave for another trip on Wednesday. So I have like 24 hour turnaround period. So I got a couple of things for that trip. Thankfully that trip is to Turks and Caicos. So like anything that I don't wear at Stagecoach can be worn there, vice versa. So I got this cover up dress. It's magenta. I don't think this color is showing up on camera the way it actually is. This looks red. It's like a purple magenta. It's so pretty. I was thinking maybe even with like a bell or like a black bikini or even like underwear set underneath might be cool. 
I don't know, Stagecoach or Turks and Caicos. And then I also got this little top. This is more of like a stagecoach piece or just a Raleigh piece. I need to just dress cuter in general. And then, ooh, I have stuff on my hands. I'm scared to touch this next fabric because it's like the type of fabric that you stain very easily. But I got this green set. It's like a pant and top set that's really flattering. But I think that's going to be my airport outfit to go to Turks because... I can wear it with like a little bra and heels, like the pants I mean I can wear with a bra and heels, like a little bra top and heels out at dinner. Take a shot every time I just said bra top and heels. Hey, how are you? Good, your background kind of looks like a green screen. My call just ended, but one thing about me is if I get you on the phone or I get you in a conversation, I will not let you leave for like an hour. It's like really bad of me, I need to get better at it because like I realized towards the end, I'm like this person definitely wants to get off this call, but that's just how I am. I will ramble and talk for as long as you let me. In the scheme of my to-do list, now would not be the time to go to Marshalls, but also in the scheme of the day, it's like 3 p.m. This would be the best time to go just because I can like miss five o'clock traffic. Should I plan my outfits before going there? Probably. But let's just go and see what's there and then maybe that will help guide the outfits Okay, I didn't really pay attention to which marshals I was routing to and I just got here and I've, I remember correctly This is not even a good marshals. Maybe that's for the best, but let's go see what they have All right, I think that was the universe telling me to just stop buying random stuff and then I should just sit down and go plan outfits with what I already have. Time to go through everything I've bought and see what's staying, what's getting returned, and more importantly, what's coming with me to Stagecoach. First up is swimwear. I think four bathing suit options would be good knowing myself. I just got two from Frankie's Bikinis in New York. I actually went to like their storefront and tried them on. I've always wanted to order from this brand, but I was a little apprehensive, like not being able to, well, I'm sure they return, but you know, it's just kind of a hassle with stuff like that. And then I got this one in store at Colt Gaia in New York City. It has these pearl beads and then the top has like a strap around your neck and then these kind of like go down like standard straps and then the matching bottoms have a bead and then look at this like a little tiny cutout it doesn't show anything but i think that's so cute i also got these white shorts from show me your moo i need to try these on these are just like solid color really really well made like double lined white cotton shorts thinking i might do these this there's a couple i'm new to this this is my first stagecoach experience if you can't tell so there's a couple like events that aren't i mean they're stagecoach related but they're not like at stagecoach like brand events and stuff i don't know what i'm saying but i want to have like a couple outfit options for those that aren't like you know obviously i want to look cute but my front runners are going to be going to stagecoach maybe with just like the white shorts could be cute one day i also got this little pleated micro mini score which i really like that it's a score um but then my friend <laughs> sent me a picture of her outfit and this is the skirt she's wearing so that might come but it might not come out i got this denim skirt from zara that literally looks like this is the front it looks backwards um it's made to look like that i think it's kind of fun not normally something that i would gravitate towards but this is the type of thing that i would see on someone on instagram and be like wow that's so cool but like i would never buy it for myself so i got this for myself we'll see again if this comes out this is definitely turks I got this matching show me your moo moo crochet set is like a skirt top i also got this big t-shirt for stagecoach this is gonna be like my walking to get coffee in the morning you already know i mapped out all the cute coffee shops and like breakfast spots walking distance from the airbnb there's one cute coffee shop and one cute breakfast place that has xxl breakfast burritos i'm so excited but I got this. It says, not my first rodeo. Just like a big oversized t-shirt. Thought that would be like cute and funny to wear to get like a breakfast burrito. Then this is like the one outfit that I actually know for a fact I'm wearing. I got this at Colt Guy in New York too. It's this crochet skirt, which come to think of it, I need to buy underwear to wear with. But it is incredible. And it has, oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this. It has this matching bra top and these strings like tie around your body it's insane and these boots happen to be lying next to me right now and i'm seeing this set with the blue oh my gosh it's so good i don't even think i mentioned this but i went to boot barn where's my other boot hello i went to boot barn and i got two pairs of boots because i have some boots but they i know for a fact that they're uncomfortable so i've normally been buying my boots in like 
size eight, which is like my size, but I'm starting to realize that because the toe box is so rigid, I need to go up a half size or a full size. So I went to Boot Barn and I got two new pairs of boots for this. I'm going to like see them styled. Who is that? Anyways, I have like 30 days to return these. So I'm gonna style them, see which ones I wanna bring. Maybe I'll return one, maybe I'll keep both. They're so cute. Okay, this is a total organized chaos, but I'm feeling better. I feel like I have enough options. I mean, duh, I have enough options, but I'm feeling more solid. Like I can actually picture some of these outfits now. And I pulled a couple of existing things from my closet because who would have thought that I probably didn't need to do all this shopping, but all of this stuff is returns. Hopefully I can get sent out between today and tomorrow because I would love to get those out. Um, and then a couple of these things I'm really only holding on to to see if I wear them and then those might get returned too. Don't worry about boots on the bed. These have not walked outside yet, so they're safe. But I have some accessories right there and then it's like taking over my life in the best way possible. I'm so excited. But I think I'm gonna spend the next like 30 minutes trying to organize this chaotic mess. I'm not actually packing right now. I'm just packing simply so I can zip these up and get them off my floor, but also just to realistically gauge how much stuff I have set aside right now. I'm trying to be very practical, although I will not lose my luggage, but since I am checking a bag, I'm putting the majority of my clothes, I'm putting like runners up in my check bag, but I'm putting like die hard need these with me clothes in my carry-on and then i'm also going to put one pair of boots in my carry-on i just think that's pretty smart of me same with makeup and bikinis that will go in there this is my personal item all of this is base by the way they reinstated my discount code it was gone for a little bit but now it's back it's clara 15 but all of this is base and i'm using the mini weekender for my personal item and in here is going to be my laptop camera stuff like that and then skincare products just because obviously i want to bring all of this stuff but my absolutely need to have items i want in those two bags just in case god forbid anything happened piled everything up right here it's not actually packed it's just packed away and i totally forgot about my hats watch out i'm a cowgirl hat girl now but i have this like beachy ish one from free people this one from literally Hobby Lobby and then another one from Free People. Free People just had like the best, best vibes. But I need to find a way to pack those. I also got some snacks to put in my personal item. These Unreal ones, pretty much like any kind of the candy. This brand has like multiple different candies, but this brand is so good. And then I just got these like cheese puff things and I think I put them in here. Yeah. I got quite a few of these like chomplings, the little mini chomps, because I'll probably actually like save these and bring these into the festival with me just so there's food because I don't I don't want to be without food for too long, you know? But that's all packed up. I folded all of the clothes that were on this chair. I don't even know if I showed you. It was so bad over here. And now this is just returns that I'm gonna process in the morning before yoga. I have yoga at 9.30 tomorrow, so that'll give me plenty of time to process these and then drop them off probably after yoga. I don't think I'll drop them off before. But regardless, I also have this dress to send to my friend because she has a bridal shower to go to. She's not the bride, she's just attending it. Um, and she sent me the link to this and she was like, what do you think? And I said, I own that, don't buy it, I'll send it to you. So it's a really pretty for love and lemons dress that I actually need to repair because it ripped the first time I put it on. But nonetheless, I'm gonna mail that to her. Her shower's on Saturday and it all sent it out on Tuesday. So I think it should get up to Arlington by then. I have made no progress on the bathroom. I don't know if I'm gonna make progress on the bathroom. I'm so tired. It's a little bit later now, actually. I ate dinner, so there's some time between the last clips, but I'm feeling pretty good. I feel pretty good about what I have. I'm the type of person that like my confidence in a social situation is directly linked to my outfit, which is not like a good trait to have, but oh well, that's how I am. So I just wanna have as many outfit options as possible so day of, I can like sense my vibe and just go from there. Had the weirdest morning apparently Miley Cyrus is releasing music under the name Clara Pierce <laughs> 
So all of my accounts are just getting tagged in Miley Cyrus conspiracy content. It's not me, I'm not Miley, clearly, but that's how my morning's going. So I went to Core Power, I just got out. I'm very sweaty, I need to go home and shower. But given my new doppelganger, I didn't have time to process those returns this morning. Instead, I had a vlog that was already ready to go, but I like redid the voiceover to like make a Miley Cyrus reference and that took a lot of my morning. So I did that before yoga. Now I'm gonna go home and process those returns. Anyways, happy Tuesday. Today is a hair appointment and um, what else? Oh, a hydrofacial in terms of a stagecoach prep. So my hair appointment I think is at like one. So I'm gonna try and get some stuff done before then. So I just zoom in. My camera is haunted. I just made lunch. I made another one of those salads from yesterday. But while I eat my lunch, I'm going to try and process some of those returns because it's 1225. My hair appointment's at 130. So I should leave soon. I think I have a form to fill out too for my hair place. I say my hair place. I just found somewhere that had an appointment and I'm getting a gloss. So I was like, I feel like I don't really need to go buy reviews for that. Like most places can do a gloss. I'm not getting cut. Just getting a like toner gloss situation on it because my ends are still like a little bit bleached from when I was blonde. If you don't know, I was a blonde. I'm still recovering from that and I get glosses every so often because the very bottom of my hair will get brassy. Off to my hair appointment. I just realized I'm probably gonna freeze in there because it's not even really warm enough to be wearing this. But I have one package that I need to drop at UPS afterwards. This is the only one that's like really time sensitive. This is the dress for Francesca. Supposedly, as long as I ship this this afternoon, it'll get to her tomorrow. I don't know if I believe that, but I'm gonna drop that off probably after my hair appointment. And I also need gas, but I am just like queen of seeing how far I can push before I actually need to get gas. It says I have 15 miles. Let's see, can I make it to the hair place? Five miles, yes, I can. And then I'll get gas afterwards. And then we'll go to UPS and then we'll come back home. But all the other returns I'm just gonna leave in my mail room. Although I will say I've had a lot of packages go missing from my mail room recently. Kind of suspicious. I think people are stealing them. But I'm gonna just leave my returns in there. I mean, what's the worst that happens? I just pulled in. This is my before. Okay, not to be dramatic, but I think this is the best my hair has looked in a long time. Oh my gosh. Now that my hair is done, I'm in such a good mood. I'm gonna go get a facial, not because of the hair and the good mood, but it was already scheduled. I'm getting my first hydrofacial, which is actually recommended for Tretinoin. I have gift cards, so I'm putting them towards the price of the service, but I'm so excited because this is like a full on spa. Like they're gonna, I get there early to change into my room and like chill and everything. I'm not gonna bring my camera in and vlog it because I just wanna like enjoy the experience. I don't do this stuff often, so I'll see you afterwards. Got back from the facial and I'm making dinner behind me. That was a really cool experience. It's one of those facials where you can see what they're sucking out of your skin. I'm trying so hard not to touch my skin right now. I am breaking out a bit from increasing my tretinoin dose. I think I've talked about that before. So my results were not gonna be like this beautiful glowy, but I do feel like it helped and hopefully it'll help with my acne. She did actually upsell me on something like she recommended something and i was expecting it to be like hundreds of dollars but what she recommended was fifty dollars so i was like okay maybe i'll risk it for fifty dollars wait you can kind of see my skin better in this lighting like it's not bad but it's not great but this is what she recommended to me there are ampules i don't know they're these little things that you like pop open and then use them for seven days and since i'm traveling i was like okay maybe that's like a good time to use them because it'll decrease my skincare routine or maybe that's the worst time to use them. I don't know. But anyways, I got them and I'm gonna use them. This is the same thing that I ate last night. It's like a Thai chicken skillet. I don't even think I showed it last night, but it's another side dish recipe. I have a side dish code. It's like this sauce company. <laughs> they're so good. You just have to order them right now because they're a new brand, but eventually they'll be in like grocery stores and stuff. But this one is using the sesame side dish. Beautiful. It's Wednesday, which is the day before I leave for my trip. I leave it. Well, my flight's at 8 a.m. tomorrow, so I have to be at the airport at like 6, or I have to leave for the airport at 6. So today is my last day to get stuff done. I'm about to leave for yoga in like 10 minutes. I scheduled all these classes. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I, I'm like not the type to work out on vacation like whatsoever. I took a Pilates class when I went to New York last week, but that was very out of character for me. I like never really work out on vacation. Um, so it was important to me that I like booked workouts for the first few days of this week, even though I would have really wanted to skip them. I don't know. It was just nice to like stay active because I'm not gonna be active for the next, well, I'll be walking, but you know, I'm not gonna be taking like actual workout classes or doing like planned workouts for the next like 
two weeks probably. But right now I'm just checking my notes app and I'm seeing my list of things to don't forget. So I'm gonna run around my apartment right now for the next 10 minutes because I have 10 minutes before I have to leave. I'm going to throw some stuff on the bed that I don't wanna forget. Up first is my Halo hair extension and my hot tools, like hair tools. All right, got those out. This is the carrying case for my hair extensions. My heat protectant, hairspray, mini rubber bands, and this is what I love to bring traveling when I'm not really sure how I'm gonna wanna do my hair. This dry bar tool that has three different attachments and one of them is a waver and then two are curling irons that just have different size barrels. So that'll be great to have and then I'm sure I'm not really one to do straight hair, but I'm sure someone will have a flat iron if I need it. Next up, we have extra contacts, an eyelash curler, these lemon packets. I also have some of the lime ones in there. I love these because I drink my AG1 with lemon juice in it. So I'm hoping, I've never tried this before, but I'm hoping that a packet plus this will replicate like my at home routine because I don't really like the taste of this on its own. And then I'm bringing a bunch of scarves just to like use for, to cover my face, I guess, with the dust. These are just a bunch of random thrifted scarves I've gathered over the years. I also almost forgot a pair of Burks or like sandals to wear at the actual pool or just walking around. I would have been in boots like 24 seven. Good thing I thought of that. I might try and buy more of these today because I only have a couple left in here. There was originally 12. Didn't realize I had taken that many, but these are like hangover prevention pills. I don't know. I think they work. I am one to just try any and all gimmicky things like this because like what's the worst that happens? You have a hangover, the best that happens you don't. So I think these work. I also really like those patches. I think I have some of those somewhere. Hopefully those show themselves before I leave, but it's like the patches that you put on the inside of your wrist. I like those too, but obviously um, with like a spray tan and stuff, it does like take the spray tan off your wrist. I don't know why I'm showing you my wrist. Um, it's not on there, but these are also really good if you are like me and you're into gimmicky hangover fixes. Throughout the day, I'm also gonna be charging all of the stuff that I'm bringing like electronics wise, like portable chargers, speakers, stuff like that. So my headphones are first up. If I was smart, I would plug them all in in the morning, but I don't have time. I have to leave for yoga now. Just got out of yoga. I had to pull all my pimple patches off afterwards to wash my face. I always wash my face after class. I've mentioned this before, but if you break out from workout classes, wash your face like in the studio before you leave. It makes such a big difference. But it's 10.30 right now. I'm gonna go over to the car wash and then I think I'm gonna go to Urban Outfitters. <laughs> Just one last store to see what I can find because I did order some stuff that came in yesterday. I didn't even bother showing the vlog because it was so bad and I was counting on one of those things being an outfit. So, I mean, I can make do with what I have but I'm just gonna check Urban one last time. Ended up with toilet paper, trash bags, body wash, ping pong balls, and gum. This body wash was recommended specifically by the person that's doing my spray tan later, so I'm gonna wash my body with this right before I go to the appointment. All right, let's see what Urban has. There seems to be some cute stuff in the window. Wait, I found like the cutest freaking stuff. I'm so excited, let me try this on. Okay, I don't think these would go together, but look at this little olive shirt, so cute. And then this skirt is kind of fun. Maybe I'll buy this as like an option if the return policy is good. See how the light scatters, that's so fun. That was so successful, I'm so happy. Let's go home, I need to make lunch really quick. This is a barbecue chicken, I think it's called sticky barbecue chicken meatballs with broccoli slaw. It's on my website if you want the recipe, it's very good. I am literally running out the door now for my spray tan but i just showered and used that new native body wash i'm bringing pajamas to change into like long sleeve flowy black pajamas but i might just change back into this little sweatshirt t-shirt situation but i have to leave now or i'm gonna be late she just sprayed me to the gods i'm gonna look incredible i'm so excited i get to keep this on for six hours she said and then i rinse it off so it's three i get to shower at 9 p.m that's perfect i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna do my nails which is what you're not supposed to do you're supposed to get like your nails done before um your spray tan but i already prepped them if you can see i prepped them for like an hour before like right after i ate lunch so i can just like go in and paint them i don't have to like get my hands wet but i'm gonna do my nails regardless i mean i really have no other plan but i'm so excited this is gonna be a good spray tan i can tell if you've gotten a lot of airbrush spray tans you can just tell right off the bat like when it's a good one this is my nail setup. I'm gonna do it in my bathroom today just because I think I'm gonna lose the light. It's three o'clock right now. I think I'm gonna finish probably, hopefully, by five. Um, but I'm filming it for TikTok 
and then I need to plan out my design. I kind of already have an idea of what it's gonna look like. My idea is to take inspiration from these tiny little like Western tattoos and incorporate them into a nail design. It totally rests on my ability to paint a tiny cowboy boot, but I don't know, I think I can make it work. I think it'll be cute. Okay, only 30 minutes over on time and look at what I did. I did a tiny little boot. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. There's one on my middle finger, thumb, and then this hand. These were on my non-dominant boots, so go easy on them. But I try to do like alternating colors. Like this one's like a white boot. You can kind of see it. How cute, not bad for like my other hand, right? Kind of looks like a gingerbread man from afar. Oh well. Making some progress on packing. I was able to fit the majority of my clothes for the whole trip and my carry-on. And then I have one pair of boots my Louis Vuitton bag, this little pouch of like blister band-aids and stuff like that that I wouldn't wanna repurchase. And then I think that's it that's gonna go in there. I mean, I can fit a couple more things. I'm like shoving the actual boots with stuff, but this bag is pretty much done. I completely forgot about the weight limit of bags. So I'm at like 45 pounds, which uh, I mean, obviously that's safe, but like what if my scale is off? But also I already checked in and added my bag and I can't like go back and change it now. So one bag is gonna have to be enough. Feeling good, feeling just like marginally stressed. But here's a little update on my spray tan. You can't really see it. I still have two hours to go, like an hour and a half to go. Hopefully this looks good. Just ate dinner, I had a nutritious meal of five guys. But since I have an hour left in this spray tan, I'm gonna try and finish my packing in the next hour. I'm filming a packing video for TikTok and Instagram. So right now I'm deciding what skincare and stuff to bring. This is my little bag of littles i invested in a full set of like my normal skincare products probably like two or three sephora sales ago it was just the best decision ever because now when i travel i don't have to choose certain steps in my routine great investment that i made into myself there but right now i'm just deciding what i need with me definitely honey halo like look at how cute okay the honey halo mini is like not so many i mean it's smaller than the big one, but not that many. And here's my little routine all laid out. This is like hair and then moving into like body stuff. This is all my skincare, toothpaste, toothbrush, lip balm. I think this is all I need, but I just love having little minis. Like these are little mini cleansing balms. It saves so much space because even if like the original packaging is technically like, what is this? Yeah, this is technically travel size. Like obviously I don't need to bring that whole thing and bringing this size vitamin C serum saves me so much space. I love it. And would you look at that? All of my makeup is in this one and all my other toiletries are in this one. These are both base too. I just love the matching set. My mentality is whatever I forget, I can probably buy or live without. Just got out of the shower, washed off my tan. I think I still need to trust the process because I don't love the color of it right now. But I mean, A, there's nothing I can do, but also B, sometimes tans like deepen overnight. So I'm just going to see what it looks like in the morning. Okay, I just phoned a friend and got some second opinions and my chest is a different color than my face, is a different color than my legs. All together, this is weird. I am a little bit stressed. Nothing I can do about it now. I'm so excited. I couldn't sleep last night. It felt like Christmas morning. And now, you know, when you wake up too early and your stomach is like a little bit like nauseous, that's how I feel. I'm like excited, but I have that. I'm up way too early nausea. How cute is that? Freaking adorable. I think I might put some curls in my hair just for the flight. I don't know how the day's gonna go and might as well just do it now. This is another reason that I like having like a travel set of skincare and like that travel curling iron because I can still use it while it's packed or I can pack everything up in a way and not have to worry about like forgetting my curling iron at the last minute because I want to use it in the morning although it's very rare that I curl my hair before a trip and with that I am leaving for the airport it is six o'clock on the dot thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed today's video I'm so excited for the next video which is going to be the actual stagecoach vlog so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you want to see more content from the trip or content from my upcoming trip to Turkey but I have to leave now. I'm so excited. I feel like a kid on Christmas. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. I hope you're having a great day. Bye.